ASA will contribute and the output of ASA will contribute both at the regional and the district level decision making process and move up possibly to the national level depending on how policies are changing and being advised. But at the end of the day, the people in Accra, the people in the regional capitals are pushing paper. At the community level, a decision affects their life. And there's a huge difference. Maybe ASA will come up with interventions and suggestions towards policy direction, which will be very important at the national level. But those people are not living in the semi-arid region and they're not suffering this, the scourge of climate change. So there's a distinction there. And I, I'm hoping that we'll have more of the former, i.e. impacting lives at the local level than some would consider the more important change of national policy direction. But I think we have to be looking at, at both ends of the spectrum. It's likely that a lot of the results that we're going to have will be confirming with evidence things that people have assumed. Now, a lot of the policy has already been developed based on those assumptions. Now, all we will be doing, and I should say all because it's quite important, is to give the scientific backing to those assumptions. So if you take something like, um, we always complain about access to land by women, ownership of land as being impediments. But is that real? Nobody has done the unpacking, uh, what, what we are terming the social differentiation of the various roles to find out, is this true? How true is it? Does it really have impact? Does it really have significance? Or is it that something we can take as a given? And there's no need to, to change or attempt to change the, the cultural framing because it works for the particular community? Or do we need to put in structures or empower women to have a different position in society vis-a-vis -vis ownership of land because that is going to make them more climate smart in terms of the agriculture. We don't know these things and what ASA can do is give the real evidence that we can go to a traditional leader or to a decision maker at the local level and say, well, you're actually losing by doing business as usual and following some of these unhelpful traditional practices. The other side of the coin, is that there are many traditional practices which are actually very climate smart and we can learn from the communities and then bring mainstream those into the standard development agenda um, because we now understand why they work.